Greetings and salutations, my name is Kratosel, and welcome back to the Ripple Effect server, where we are greeted by the death of a skeleton. Amazing. So I'm in my little base, um, with Dolores, of course, of course, and as you can see in my inventory, I have sinned, I have gone to the... Guardian farm and there were stacks upon stacks upon stacks of fish and I just couldn't resist the ease, you know. I don't have that much time to play on the server, so when I can take out the easy way, I I will. So I uh, I don't have bunny meat at the moment. Still have it, like in my chest, and I'm going to use it when my fish runs out. Yeah, bunny meat. But I was just there and I was hungry and it was easy. On that note, I have been uh, working on the floor of the large building of our hub and I'm not going there yet because I've made some changes to the design. Of course, it's me we're talking about. If you recall, correct, if you can recall, um, I used pink, pink glazed terracotta and surrounded by birch. Also changed that to yellow stain clay, by the way. Um, but birch, you know, started to look really weird the bigger the floor became the weirder it started to look because remember it was kind of like uh, not at all like this uh, wow it's one of those days great a bit like this and especially because the corners were missing and there were uh, pumpkins in those corners it's this this pattern looks really weird because there's lines in one direction all the lines go that way this is much more visible with birch wood rather than any of the other woods the contrast is just much higher whereas the lines going that way yeah, they're not as visible so you know this pattern already looks a bit daft but as it became bigger and bigger it starts to look just really bad in my opinion so I changed it out with another block, and because people say I like to use blocks that not a lot of people use, I decided to go with that theme. I used purple. Speaking of blocks that no one uh, wants to use, I used purple, indeed. And of course I have the purple farm, and I couldn't just build like a normal walkway around it, I had to do all the column thing. I kept it, you know, for my um, way, this is actually rather modest and I decided to keep it that way mostly I could make it, I wanted to make it more elaborate but I would just take away the room uh, these plants needed to grow so it wouldn't really be helping anyone or anything but this will allow me to you know, harvest a few more fruits. I get a feeling these won't grow because they're blocks. Because they're next to that. But I'm not really sure what's up with the plant growth mechanics of the chorus. Fruit plant thingamajig. Whatever we call it. <laughs> so there's that. And also because you know, using a new uh, block in the floor. I also reconsidered the use of pumpkins and yellow carpet and decided to uh, well I haven't really decided that's the problem because I'm not really sure which of these two styles I like best with the absolute center of this hole and as you can see it <laughs> became quite big that's a lot of clay um, is that clay? no that's concrete there's a lot of concrete and this is just the first layer it will uh, taper in a little bit basically uh, it will give a sort of roof terrace and then we'll go up a bit more and then we'll have the dome this is going to be huge huge I tell you and I'm not sure yet which of these two styles I like best the carpeted style like so or the uh, sea lantern style they both have their own distinct uh, flavors now, the advantage of this one certainly is you don't have this carpet sticking out 
because you do see that with this pad and they really do stick out literally it's a bit higher you also you can, don't know if you can notice it on video but you go up and up and down and up and down and well not sure if it's worth that whereas this is much more in tune uh, the sea lanterns and the purple actually look quite well together and it also kind of resonates with the little grayish squares here so it matches much better but the question is do I want that and I'm not sure I do so basically I've been able to make a decision um, we are today going to work on the interior wall and we'll make our decision after that because it really depends on the walls whether or not this or this style is going to be better now the walls by the way were one spot out further than what i originally calculated it was a row with pink wool here not here this is going to be column column um i could not resist that i'm sorry so i'm going to need batch and we're going to need sandstone uh, we have both in our inventory right now which is amazing we're going to need some of that and i also think i had some what should we call them fences and it's offensive that i don't know e e e i suck uh there we go here's a couple of fences and we're going to try the wall and we're going to try it out over there because right there we have this division between sea lantern and pumpkin of course the easy thing is if i choose to go for the uh, i won't shake that fast again if i choose to go for the carpeted variants then i can just carpet all these sea lanterns which is nice of course if i choose the sea lantern then you know, i need to remove the carpet and the pumpkin and replace it so. anyway the wall uh, itself is going to be very straightforward in the beginning, not like that. There's going to be these columns running up, and this ouch are going to be built of sandstone. I really need me some feather falling boots. Uh, my current boots are like enchanted with absolutely nothing. As you can see, I'm nearing there with levels. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with levels, perhaps I'll just look around for books I don't know I just want feather falling and protection really and I'm breaking and bending so, yeah, there you go so we just have these columns running up um, I guess I'll just fill in the wall with columns and I'll be back with you there we go and now we're going to try and fill it in a little bit not with that actually probably just with these perhaps some slabs eventually Didn't, don't know why Nice like slabs. Um, that was that's an option. Um, like do it a little bit like that, or something like that, and slabbing on top, which means I need to build some slabs. Again, the slabs. I'm not an American, you know. There's no reason for me to say slab. 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 I don't know. Doesn't really matter, does it? So I was thinking like something like uh, this, perhaps, perhaps not. I don't know. It doesn't really call to me. It doesn't sing to me, you know. That lo does look better in my opinion, but I would probably want that a bit taller. And that's not really gonna work. So uh, right now there was one space and like one, two, three spaces in between. Yeah, it looks a bit better in my opinion. But they won't all be like this, and I'm not actually sure this will be uh, a style going for it. We also just have areas with this with flower pots on that. Um, and then continuing that. It's just much easier to build up with. I 
and there will be flower plot, flower, flower plot, oh, flower, flower pots. There we go. Uh, even when cheating, sometimes I just mumble the words just horribly. I do mean horribly. That was this word. Um, where does that go? Oh, all the way over there. It's a Dutch word, of course, because I give lessons to Dutch children, which goes like Kolstofkringloop. Now I do it rather well. It was a lesson, it, by the way, it means carbon uh, cycle. I teach chemistry. Uh, but <laughs> when I did it in a lesson, I like eventually just said cycle because I couldn't, just couldn't, just couldn't say it. Just kept mumbling that up. Much to my embarrassment and amusement of my pupils, I can assure you. So not too sure about those two styles where the fences are below. Because it seems too bulky to really be able to sit on top of those fences. And if I did that, then I have to put something on it, otherwise it's not well lit enough, I think. What is the block light in here? Actually, it's lit just fine. I could do that. Is it lit AF? Mm, me being popular, not a good idea. Of course, it would be like something like that on top again. What did, did, I, did I do slabs there? I did do slabs. Oh. No, I don't mind that. Actually, and it could be like I'm using like a lot. As like, <laughs> I'm akin to one of those annoying um, high schoolers like those. Those they go like <laughs> like totally, you know, like so rad, <laughs> whatever. I'm, I sh really shouldn't even try to imitate that. But this is what I was going on about. At least in my head. I'm not quite sure. Uh, no, I'm not even sure I mentioned it. Getting me. Thank you. <laughs> That's what she said. No. That definitely no. Just no. Just not saying to me. That. Possibly. I like that better. So we have several designs here. Uh, all of them use quite a lot of white space. Well, <laughs> pink space, really. I'm going to need more fences for more designs. So that's exactly what I'll do. Insert check skeleton maniacal laugh. That. Those are a few more fences at least, and let's get a few more stairs. Actually, I want much more fences than that. I really hate math. Um, I will have four to two, so two to one. This will give me um, per two, gives me four, so it doubles that. Which means I need this will give me thirty two. Uh, my math is off. There we go. My math was off. G Willikers, what a surprise. So I was thinking more um, along these lines. We still have potential for pots, so I have one of these, whatever. And then we have like is so, much more elaborate. There we go, that fills it up much, much more. Might even want to bring it down a notch. Down. 
like so. That will give us room for you know, plant pots or for lack of plant pots like this. No, definitely not like that. Either plant pots or no pots. Or, you know, you could put in yellow carpet. Got plenty of that. Huh? Huh? Even put on pink carpet, but no, it's already so much pink. As you can see, uh, once you break up this wall, it really isn't that like eye blindingly pink anymore. Oh, yes, I do believe I like that. This one, mm, I don't know, feels weird, especially if the pot's here, uh, it's just gonna feel weird. Well, I suppose, I don't know, it could be, it could go, go both ways. There's going to be a ceiling on top of it, so that also is going to influence it significantly. The ceiling is probably going to be birch, uh, studded with um, columns and stuff. Studded? Strutted? Strutted? Reinforced. Uh, and the question is, well, I like Personally, I like these two best, uh, but you know, the advantage of not being able to record that often, by the way, I am now able to record not on the 20th, but today, because the youngest one has turned four and actually has already gone to school today. Huzzah! <sighs> Lovely. Too bad, like, she's done half an, uh, half an hour past 12, instead of the normal, um, half an hour past two, but yeah, because it's a holiday tomorrow, and, you know, the coming week. Personally, like these two best, and I was going to say, sorry, advantage of not being able to record too much is that I have plenty of time to read your comments, so if you're like, no, we want, I want, I like that the best, or that, or that, let me know. Of course, these columns, uh, right now, they're just plain old sandstone but you know we can do stuff like this as well like ooh, you, you know you're over there you get you get a bit reinforced you get smooth and you get smooth and you get smooth a bit like that uh, a light bulb and if i just remove this for a while uh, well, why not? And scooch it over to yonder. Because I had the idea of, you know, placing these according to the design. And you can't really do that with two designs next to each other, so I'm going to alternate them. And that means this one needs to go there. You need to go there. Not there, thank you very much. I'm going to need a couple more of those. Do it like that. Yeah, it's almost night. Uh, one of the next things I'm probably going to work on, like the next project on camera, is going to be the front gate, so I'll be safe. Uh, is it really necessary to sleep? Well, probably. In the... That was a bat. For a very short amount of time, it was bad. And that was just bad. As was the joke. No, come back to me. Lo and behold, why I need the uh, feather falling. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a uh, good idea to sleep. Another advantage, by the way, of the purple is that the step sounds are the same. And that's also the advantage of the sea lanterns. I mean, the sound of walking over glazed terracotta 
is the sound of stone, as is walking over the sound, as, as is walking over purple words. So when walking, you know, the sound's the same. Same goes for sea lanterns. When you walk on them, they actually give the, you know, normal sound like walking over stone. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it's what happens. Whereas the pumpkins don't. They sound like you're walking over wood. Another thing to consider between the two. Also wanted uh, some creepy faces. Give me some creepy faces. I need more creepy faces than that. There we go, creepy faces. Creepy creeper, who cares. So for this design, I'd say right there. For this design, that would not make too much sense. So probably more like there. Just like double it up, but I don't really like it up. Wow. Don't really like it doubled up. So that, you know, gives a completely different feel to that one opposed to that one. Um, personally, I'm leaning towards this one. But what that does for, you know, the decision between uh, this style or this style still is rather difficult to say. So let's just Right, so let's just put, um, oh shut it, put this over there, just like an example, probably should also put the carpet there, yeah, yeah I will, otherwise it's not a fair comparison, even though it's just a tiny sliver of yellow, it is still a tiny sliver of yellow, you do see over there, but you don't see over there. So the question becomes, what do we like more? Do we like it like so? That's a lot of likes. Hmm. Again, with the sea lanterns uh, leading into this, or do we like it more like so, with the yellow wool leading onto it? Of course, th this yellow wool does make it not necessarily resonate, but it kind of ties it together. This does not necessarily tie it together, it just adds an, another color. So with this, we add a splash of color um, via the walls, and with this, we just tie it in with the walls. Different design philosophies. And there's also an you know, entire possibility of using completely different designs than the ones I have here by incorporating different designs in the columns themselves so these are really straight and that can be good and can not be good if you know what I mean if you don't, I don't blame you because I am legendarily vague legendary so to illustrate my point, let's take this one for example and let it go up like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks in total. To take four blocks out of the equation. And no husks, you are not welcome here. Like so, well, building on the edge. Nope, nope. Come to me. There we go. I'll pick up the other blocks, of course. Like it so, like it so, and this would be. Probably like so. Um, 
other perhaps, I don't know. It certainly gives a different feel to it. And that will probably end up slanting inwards. And by that I mean this. That was very clear, wasn't it? By that I mean this. Yeah, I can do that. It's my forte. Being so obnoxiously vague, it almost makes sense. And this could actually be like that as well. I just fell to get a piece of cobble. Still me, ah, ah, two pieces. So it would look like that and that we are a repeating pattern. Which isn't half bad actually. It's not half bad at all. It's much more pink. <laughs> because it, this has shadows and apparently this does not. I mean, go logic, but yeah, I suppose he's a Technically transparent blocks so they don't cast a shadow. Yeah, I mean. That will also completely change how these designs will go. We'd still have these. But I can't like be like, oh I wanna build it all the way up to the up, up top. No, you can't. You can do this. But I don't know, it kinda looks weird. I want to make those into full blocks instead of stair blocks which then gives the whole problem of you know stuff can spawn on it unless I add a light and I don't want to add a light because that would look weird I didn't want it to look weird I don't know it's not you know horrible it's just weird you do that and that husk. Where are you at? There we go. I was talking of him. Just moaning. Step kids do another that. So this is another option, I suppose also turn these around it would accent that piece instead of that piece no um I, do I want to do this so there are several designs possible and I'm going to ask for yours input uh, in some way I could just put up signs, I suppose. Yeah. Where did the wood go? Oh. You can never have too many signs. Said no one ever. That's not enough signs. <laughs> just ignore the irony of that. So, for now, we have like four options. And this will be option one. One. And this would be the low hanging. Yeah. <laughs> this will be option two. It would be a little bit higher, but the columns would still be actual columns. This would be option three. And this will be option four. And then, of course, we have a floor A and floor B. I'll also put some yellow wool on those just to make the whole thing complete. Room 
vroom, vroom, vroom. Yes, car noises make you go faster. It's a well known fact. Just like red stripes make you go faster. So, we have option one, the low hanging. Option two, high hanging uh, lattice framework, I suppose. Then uh, we have option three, which is the elaborate column um, high accent and the elaborate column low accent. I would very much like, uh, like it if you would tell me which one you like best. And then of course, do you like it best together with floor A or to, with, together with floor B? Remember the floors are independent of the style you eventually go with. I think I'm going to try to build a wall with this pattern. That way we will have a much fairer way of judging. Right now it's just a single thing and you know you have to see it in a repeating pattern. So I'll be right back. So that's how the pattern looks repeated upon an entire wall. And as you can see we have the troll over there. But considering that's going to be the place where there will be a passage to another area of the base, that's not really a problem. So, you know, they'd be like, oh, there's this weird thing in the middle. That would be fixed. Like, I'd probably just remove this and make that a larger arc, an you know, important interior arc and whatnot. So, that's not the point. The point is, did you like this pattern? Or just preferably the color straight rows? And, of course, if you like the, the pattern, then which one of the two, the high accent or the low accent? Of course, this is far more resource intensive than just straight columns. I still do not understand, Minecraft, why this recipe for stairs is so dumb. Because let's just, just look at it. Let's look at it. Store, stair. That's, that's it. Stair, yeah, stair. Bitch, yeah, it's just, alright, no, it's just being silly. Whatever. So, we have like a block, right? A block. You can turn a whole block into a single button, you know, you could, that's, the, whatever. It's not really like, you, you should probably get like a hundred buttons from that, but, oh well. Three blocks makes six slabs, which is completely logical because, you know, you saw the block in half, you get six half blocks because you three blocks times two, two halves each is six. It makes sense. Now we cut a single corner, a quarter out of each block and suddenly we only have four stairs left. You know, technically, if you glue together all the quarters you saw away, you would be able to get another two stairs. You should be able to get eight out of this. But even if you are unable to glue this together, because whatever, you should still be getting six stairs. You had six blocks to begin with. And apparently, you know, we can compress diamonds and iron and gold into solid blocks. But we don't know how to solve because 50% of our blocks fail when we try to make a st set of stairs. That's a, just a very big annoyance of mine because I like to use stairs in my design and they just suck away your resources for no apparent reason, really. Anyway, regardless, that design, or not well, basically that design, there we go. Well, which do you like best? Option one, two, three, four. Kind of a strange counting. Should probably just go like that. But too late now. Thought the was up And which floor? If you would kindly um, comment which you prefer, I have a preference for a certain design. I'm not going to say it because I want to hear your opinions. So. Thank you all very much for watching and as soon as enough comments are in I will start working on the wall 
of this interior sp uh, space. Apart from that, I will probably be gathering much more sandstone or play Stellaris because I'm kind of uh, I like a, I like Stellaris a lot, a lot. So, <laughs> and resource grinding is not the most thrilling. Thank you for watching, and until next time, Kato out.